all right guys so as the course evolves i'll be putting out other videos within each chapter if there's any issues that arise so one of the issues that might arise in the beginning is that the beginning of the course i, I didn't you make use of plc sim i was making use of a physical plc so let me show you how to do the same thing with the hmi uh, with plc sim and i'm also going to show you an issue on um, having the tags within the hmi actually link to the memory bits uh, there's an issue that we need to look at. So first thing is, uh, if you've got your stop, start, and your output here, and they're, uh, they're input, and you don't have a physical PLC, then just go over and click on the actual PLC here, right? So that's gonna have everything, both your hardware and your software. Uh, and we're gonna come up here and we're going to simulate that program. So we're gonna hit okay. Okay, so PLC sim is starting up here. Okay, we'll hit load. And we'll start the PLC and hit finish. Okay, sweet. There are errors, there are warnings. Okay, so we're good to go here, right? So, um, but now we want to have, so let's drop this down. We want to have the HMI uh, going as well. So on the HMI, if I go to my root screen and I can get there going back and forth uh, on here. So I'm going to go to root screen. Sorry, single click here. So I got my stop and my start. And right now, if I look at the properties of the stop push button, um, I am tagging the stop push button, but within uh, the inputs, right? If I look at my PLC tags, uh, the start push button is an, is an actual input there. So we've seen on the on in the textbook that this is not going to work, uh, but let me just quickly show you that it's not going to work, and then I'll show you how to do the, the memory bits. Okay, so in order for this to, uh, to simulate, then click on HMI, and then again, click on simulate, and then WinCC will start up. So right now it's compiling. There we go, there's our HMI. Beautiful, let's drop this down. Let's go back to our main OB. Let's move this over to the side. Let's go online. Okay, so you'll see here that I'm, I'm online, but nothing's uh, coming up, right? So why is that not coming online? Let's click on here, go online. Okay, that was strange. All right, now let's move this over. Let's uh, bring up our WinCC now. Let's put it beside here. And so here you can see that if I'm pressing the stop push button, it doesn't do anything to the stop push button over here. If I'm pressing the start push button, then it doesn't do anything to this guy over here, right? So, um, so we need to make some changes. We need to make these guys into memory bits. So at this point, we're going to go offline. You'll see here that within my PLC tags, uh, I've got the HMI for the stop and the start here, and they're both memory bits, M0.1, M0.2. So I'm going back to the main OB, and I'm gonna change this guy to the HMI stop, so a memory bit, and I'm gonna change this guy to uh, the HMI start. So if you're having the HMI control your PLC program, the HMI has to reference memory bits. Okay, so we've got stop, start, output's still gonna be the same there. So I made a change there, so I'm now going to, now that I've done the simulation, I should be able to uh, download to the device the hardware and software changes, and we'll see whether this goes to PLC SIM. Okay, it looks like it's good to go now. Okay, so as soon as you've simulated once, then when you download it, you're downloading to your simulated PLC. And now when we go back to the root screen, so this is the main um, thing for this, uh, this video, uh, we need to change what the properties are for the stop push button. Now, if I go here and click on here and then go to my PLC tags and I go to my default tag table, I do have the stop available here as, an H, as the push button HMI. Uh, but what I want you to do is two things. So before we do this, so sometimes that'll work, sometimes it won't if you just, you know, uh, change the, the tag address within this press, within the events, then it may work, but it may not work. So two things I want you to do. I want you to go over here and I want you to delete what we, uh, what we set up for that press or that event, right? So now there's no events corresponding to that stop push button. Then we're gonna go over to the start, go to the properties, go to our events, and we're gonna click on this guy again and delete that out. So those don't exist whatsoever. The other two thing, the other uh, step that you may need to do is you may need to go over to um, to your HMI and find your HMI tags. We'll go to show all tags. 
okay? So, um, because it may be that these HMI, these tags are still stuck. Like it's still, even though you try to change the memory bit, it still keeps reverting back to the physical stop or start button. So go over to your HMI tags and delete out these two tags. Don't delete out the screen number, just the stop and the start. Okay, so at this point, we're back to, um, you know, our base HMI here. There's no tags corresponding to them. So now when we go to the stop and we go to the properties and we go to events, now when we go to press, we can hit set bit while key pressed. Now we can choose, see how it's pink now? So nothing is corresponding to it now. Now we're gonna go to the PLC tags, not to the HMI tags, to the PLC tags. And now that's our stops. So we're gonna do our stop push button HMI or M0.1. Click the check mark and we're good to go. Now we go over to the start. We go over to the properties. We go to press, we're typing in set, set bit while key pressed. Coming over here, clicking on the three dots, going to PLC tags. That's my start push button. I'm gonna make that M0.2. Looks good. Okay, so those guys are set. And then we saw it within the, uh, if you were doing this, that you need to change your, uh, your program. So our main OB here, we actually have to change this one back to uh, a normally closed. I've made a change there. So I'm now going to download uh, the software changes to my PLC. Okay, and then I'm coming back to the HMI um, and I'm going to download to the device. So it doesn't say I can uh, download anything there, right? So, um, so it looks like we're just gonna have to um, simulate and we'll see how this works. So going back to the, the PLC, we already have our PLC SIM up and running so that those changes should have come in. Let's move this to the side. Let's go online. Okay, so that looks good so far. Let's bring up our WinCC now. And now let's see whether this guy changes the state of my stop push button here. So pressing this, the stop push button. Okay, so still nothing coming in on either one of these guys, right? So is it the fact that we need, so when we do this WinCC, how do you get that to then um, the changes on your HMI to actually come in, right? So let's go back to our root screen here. Uh, and then let's start a simulation again. Okay, let's see if this works. So going back to our main OB, move this bad boy over, bring WinCC up. There we go. Okay, so we have to do, um, basically to, in order to download the changes that you made in the HMI, you have to stop the previous WinCC uh, animation and then start a new WinCC animation. Beautiful, so now we can see that the stop is now changing state. So you can see here that we made use of a normally closed contact because the only time that this bit is pre is set is when I press the button, right? So as long as nobody has pressed that push button, this will be a zero in the memory for that memory bit. If I press the push button, it becomes a one. And that first instruction there is no longer true. Beauty. So now I can hit the start push button. That should turn on my output. Beauty. And you can see that I just momentarily pressed it. There's me pressing the push button. There's me letting go of the push button. So it's working perfectly. The output set. The holding contact is now set. So now if I press the stop, then it should stop my three wire from working. Beautiful. All right, guys, so hopefully that helps and, uh, and clears things up. If there's things within the course, if you're making use of PLC SIM and I'm demonstrating like a physical PLC, or we have some of those hiccups where you're like, okay, it's not working. I've changed the, I've tried to change the this set uh, bit while key pressed from an input to a memory bit. It's really not working, Pete. Help me out because I'm stuck on this this portion. Then I can revise, make a new quick little video here, and then push it out to the uh, to the course. And then everybody has that fix, uh, and we call can all move on together. All right, guys. Hopefully this helps, and we'll see you guys on the next video.